What's good y'all? your boy Ross back at again with another video. So, I'm filming this video on Friday, the day before SummerSlam, and I wanted to at least drop a video for y'all on the day of SummerSlam. And since, you know, we are excited to see what's going to happen at this year's event, I wanted to kind of go down memory lane with y'all, and I asked y'all a specific question on Twitter, and uh, it's involving some of y'all favorite matches from SummerSlam all over uh the years man or the past years so let's get right into it if you're not following me on twitter follow me on twitter at ross's clutch so the question i asked is since SummerSlam is tomorrow i wanted to make a video of some of your favorite SummerSlam matches over the years tell me which match it uh which match it is and why was it your favorite you will be featured in my upcoming video now you guys have been going crazy initially i was gonna wait till tomorrow um to like to film this the day of SummerSlam before we got you know into the festivities later on in the afternoon or the evening but you guys have been going crazy with the comments already 169 replies so I kind of have to get on this as soon as possible because if I wait any longer it'll probably be over 300 replies by time uh tomorrow comes around so i wanted to kind of get this out as soon as i can you guys have listed some pretty dope ones so let's get right into it this is uh by fan uh phantasm 01 rvd versus jeff hardy hardcore title ladder match um 02 hbk versus triple h which is one of my favorites personally uh beginning of a heated rivalry uh 2000 toc one uh the true state of uh true start of toc matches another classic one one of my favorites 2009 jeff versus punk emotions running high with passion from both sides um and oh on the rvd one rvd versus jeff hardy the hardcore ladder match best of the high flyers collide from ecw and wwf these are some good ones i love that triple h and Shawn michaels that unsanctioned match um oh, start of such a great blood feud so good such a fun match man it was a good thing to see uh hbk come back after his uh uh mini retirement uh messy uh mess geo favorite summer slam was the hardys versus dudley's versus edge and christian tlc match classic one it, it kind of just started things with this whole tlc uh stipulation and it, it, it i guess you could say it it changed wrestling forever them adding <laughs> the furniture as jim Cornette would say um shout out to the homie uh shy town mark aka hill jesse man shout out to you bro 98 i think this was the match where the rock where rock officially became the people's champion it was the last time the rock held the ic title because they knew he was destined for much bigger and better things as survivor series later that year his rocket pack took the fuck off this is a classic one he went way back i was like seven years old when this happened he went way back another classic one by sir valentine eddie guerrero versus kurt angle in 2004 I don't even have to make it bigger. In, uh, in 2004, uh, this match was the best match of Eddie Guerrero's WWE career, and this is easily the most underrated Kurt Angle match. These two just played off each other so well. Yeah, man. I mean, two people at their prime, or, you know, some would say at their prime. I think a lot of people think uh, Perk Angle was a Kurt Angle's prime, but definitely in WWE terms, these guys were the cream of the crop when it came to actual wrestling uh now we're going way back by v town falcon SummerSlam 91 excellence of execution versus perfection great technical match and i think was brett's first singles title uh title win the counter submission in the end was so good yeah this is i mean i was just born in 91 so i don't even know <laughs> but i may may have to go back and check this out if y'all think uh i should uh check this out just on some you know getting some historical accuracy here and and appreciating yesteryear y'all let me know because you know obviously people hold this match i've heard about this match hold this match to a high regard especially for SummerSlam matches uh j cole slaw SummerSlam 05 ray versus eddie from the build up to the actual match was chef's kiss and plus i got to see two of my uh two of my top five go at it i couldn't be any better appreciate that 
CM Punk versus Brock Lesnar in 2013. Glad he brought this up. Really great match because it was a great fight. Another David and Goliath story. The build up after Heyman screwed Punk and Money and Bank was great. They all told a great story. And also in that same event, we got Daniel Bryan versus John Cena for the WWE Championship at that same SummerSlam only for Daniel Bryan to win it. Everyone goes crazy. Triple H pedigrees him, screws him over. Randy Orton cashes in on him, and he's the new champion. That happened that same pay per view. Not, I, that's one of my favorite matches too. Uh, Terry, she got a list of pictures here. A hardcore title match: Shane McMahon versus Steve Blackman. Uh, then we got, oh, of course, Hell in a Cell, which I've seen a lot of comments of this. Uh, Undertaker versus Edge. Um, then I just said this match right here, John Cena versus Daniel Bryan and the SmackDown Women's Championship triple threat match between, uh, um, Becky, um, Charlotte. And I think that's, uh, is that Carmella? I don't remember this match. I don't, I ain't gonna lie to you. Um, uh, Brock versus CM Punk 2013, Jeff Hardy versus CM Punk TLC SummerSlam 09. So yeah, man, CM Punk is in a few of these. Trish versus Charlotte SummerSlam 2019. Okay. AJ Styles versus John Cena definitely deserves to be, uh, someone's, uh, favorite I, uh, of all time in SummerSlam matches. Um, and what's crazy, <laughs> SummerSlam's trending right now and Brock Lesnar's trending right now. So that's crazy. Um, I have so many SummerSlam matches, but this is the one for me. I never thought we actually get, get this, but we did. And this was a very fun to watch. Definitely recommend rewatching it. It still ages pretty well. Oh yeah, this was good. The build up to this was so good. This was summer, man. This was a fun match bro that really fun match aj versus cena i got back into retro, uh, wrestling after not watching for years and these two guys put on a classic and made me feel like a kid again yes they did they cooked the first tlc match of course um personal favorites brock versus cena Ooh, 2014 aka the birth of suplex city and seth versus demon balor mm, that's crazy man the time John Cena got jobbed out to Brock Lesnar. Uh, fucking wild. Uh, dude, Jeff Hardy versus RVD. Another one at SummerSlam 01 was an insane match. The chemistry between these two was off the charts. They gave it their all and left everything in the ring. That match will always be my favorite SummerSlam match of all time. I may have to go back and rewatch that because I've seen, obviously, someone else talk about this. So I may have to go back and rewatch that. Uh, these two too deaf up there cena was having a time of his life with these under underrated bangers especially with his match with uh daniel bryan besides triple h and randy orton the wrestling itself doesn't get talked about a lot or how good it was oh it definitely was and this was actually not bad we we kind of knew where things were gonna go with the uh, roman reigns versus john cena but this was a still fun match but this right here to me is still a classic man this was a really good match of course, someone else put this up here. Brunk, uh, Arrow, I uh, said Brunk, <laughs> Punk and uh, versus Lesnar, no DQ, SummerSlam uh, uh, 2013. They absolutely stole the show with that match. Instant five star classic. Definitely Lesnar's best match since his uh, he returned in 2012, which I do agree. And Punk's last great match before he left, for sure, my uh, favorite of all time. Batman. This was a good match as well. The story behind it was great. Ray versus Kurt Angle, probably the perfect uh, opening match. Kurt showed why he's one of the best ever uh, once again, especially since he had to adjust to Ray's style because it was new to him. Yeah. And they got the gift of him, Ray, being fucking classic Ray. Fantastic. Uh, Triple H versus Shawn Michaels. O2 is one of my favorite matches. I still get goosebumps from that promo package. This promo package here. I, you know, I wish I could play it, but, you know, copyright reasons. This was so good, man. Such a good blood feud. And the next person, Melissa H. Triple H versus HBK was a such an amazing story. And the match over-delivered my expectations. It was definitely the comeback of HBK. Facts. It's Bray. My favorite SummerSlam match got to be Roman versus Redacted in 2022. It might be the best last man standing match of all time. Yes, in my opinion... It's one of the best last man standing matches of all time. It's one of the be last man standing matches I can actually remember. And it's just classic, bro. 
you'll never forget when Brock Lesnar or Redacted drove a damn tractor and lifted up the ring as Roman falls from one side of the ring to the other. That was a spectacle. No one will ever forget that. Outside of their very first match, Roman and uh, Brock at WrestleMania 33, which was really good, every match in between was lackluster to boring. But their last one, this was their last one, and I hope they never have another match again because it needs to end with that. That was one of their best matches outside of their very first one. That last man standing match was their best second. Some would say it's their best match they've ever had, but it, it's classic. And it, I hope they don't have no more matches ever again. They need to end it on that one because that one's great. Great last man standing. Um, all these hood classics, Rock versus Lesnar, if you know, you know. This Fatal 4-Way, chef's fucking kiss. The lead up to this was so damn good. Uh, it's just it's so frustrating because you could have put the title on these one of these guys. And I don't think nobody would have tripped. It wouldn't have made Brock look bad. But we knew they were all building it up for Roman. But this was such a fun. This was just a car wreck of entertainment which SummerSlam should be, and it was fun. Oh, we got John Cena versus uh uh Randy Orton here. All hood classics. Of <laughs> of course, Brock versus uh um the Rock here. And when the <laughs> the Rock uh, lost to Brock Lesnar, we we know <laughs> we know. <laughs> and of course, uh this one right here, the Last Man Standing. All of these featuring Brock. <laughs> Definitely going to piss off someone we know. <laughs> not, not all of them, except the John Cena and Randy Orton one. Here's some of mine. Of course, that non, un, the uh, un, non-sanctioned match classic. A lot of y'all have the CM Punk versus Brock Lesnar in there. And obviously, the Triple H and HBK in there. I've seen a lot of that un, a reoccurring with the John Cena, AJ Styles. It seems that's the general consensus right here. Uh, SummerSlam 2000, first ever TLC. Change not only tag team matches, it changed how louder matches would ever go forward. This is true. Brock Lesnar versus Kurt Angle, WWE Championship. One of my favorite matches because Kurt made Brock tap for the first time. It was a great match. He brought back a, a classic one with that one. Um, the Rock, the Rockers versus Power of Glory, 1990. Super underrated match that helped put PG on the map. Uh, strong, basically a handicap match against Marty Janetti and Sean selling on the floor the whole match. Always stuck out to, with me as a kid. Okay, we're going way back. Classic. Definitely this. Never get tired of watching it back every now and then. Think uh, think what made this few uh, special is people never expected that these two would cro ever cross paths. And the fact that they never had a bad match is crazy. They are uh, they're truly wrestling soulmates. Now, nah, th this pairing, John Cena, AJ Styles, fantastic. Stone Cold uh, versus Kurt Angle is such a great uh, main match. Even the DQ finish doesn't ruin it. Now, nah, this was a, a, a good one, too. This was a, a classic one, too. Triple H versus HBK is one of it's my favorite match because uh, me being an HBK fan coming back, beating Triple H was a great feeling and it sparked one of the best rivalries in the Ruthless Aggression era. Factuals. Uh, Ryan, with the Rey Mysterio versus Kurt Angle, SummerSlam 02, even though Rey lost, it's probably the greatest opener to any pay-per-view ever, as a lot of uh, people have that sentiment as well. John Cena, once again, versus AJ Styles, 2016, a modern classic. These men put on a clinic, and every minute was worth watching. I was 12 when I watched it. Damn, makes me feel old. And <laughs> and it even and even then, I knew that I was watch witnessing greatness this this was really good, bro. This is the thing. Like, WWE, they had some gems. Like, that's how they would keep people watching. Yes, the weekly shows, a lot of times, were straight hot garbage. But they would have gems where you just like, now, this is why I'm, I'm a fan. This is why I watch. But sometimes those gems are few, far in between. So, that's why people would kind of leave. Oh, I'm so glad. Someone brought this up. Homicide Hound. SummerSlam 
05, Matt Hardy versus Edge. This match was anger filled when Lita's situation came into play, and all Matt saw was nothing but red, laughing my ass off. Started in chaos and ended in chaos. This is also the first pay per view I saw with my uncle, and he's the reason why I got into wrestling. This was good. I'm glad someone brought this up. This started sparked off one of the best real feuds with some real storyline elements. Like they just mixed it in with the wrestling part. It was so good. Another classic one with Edge in it. Undertaker been my favorite. Uh, seeing this match made me realize that uh, the most underrated and best match um, for SummerSlam. It's beautiful. Of course, the classic Hell in a Cell. And and that's crazy. That's crazy. Um, they this person said these are my top four just legendary matches. Man, there are a lot more like Styles Cena, Orton versus Cena, 07, Fatal Four Way, uh, um, uh, seventeen Rock versus Lesnar, 02, Reigns versus Lesnar, twenty two Rock and Triple H versus Angle, and a lot more. But these four are my all time favorite. And once again. I think the general consensus is Brock Lesnar, CM Punk, Triple H, HBK, Daniel Bryan, John Cena. <laughs> and I've seen a lot of Hell in a Cell, Undertaker, and Edge. And once again, Brock Lesnar versus CM Punk at SummerSlam 2013. It's been quite a while since I watched this match, but I do remember that I enjoyed the match. I think uh, what I liked about this match was that in my eyes, it was sort of like David versus Goliath match. This was, and it was fantastic. Fantastic. All right, someone put another list. Ray versus Kurt. Uh, best fast paced match ever. No talks, just hands. Pump versus uh, Hardy. Two of my late go uh, 2000s goats. Really good one, too. Taker versus Edge. First pay per view match I watched live. That's awesome. And Cena versus Brian. Legend start of Cena wrestling with more than five moves. This is true. Triple H heel turn. Orton cash in. Beginning of the Yes movement. The Yes movement had been going on, but then it really kicked up into that next gear. Brock versus Roman, last man standing match uh, just because of the car crash it was and how creative it was. I know there are better matches, but this is my favorite to re-watch, man. Uh, Skyman, 9-10. Um, let's see. To me, it's a tie between Jeff Hardy versus CM Punk at old SummerSlam 09 and Roman versus Brock at SummerSlam 22. The 09 match was just super fun to watch and very nostalgic for me. For As for the 22, in my opinion, that's that was the best match from Brock and Roman. Just so much fun. Plus, I was there. See? And you see the damn tractor. That's fucking crazy. And right here, these four are masterpieces. Just work of art. AJ, John Cena, once again, Triple H. It's literally the same four. <laughs> and I think I'm going to end it there, man. I think I'm going to end it right there. I appreciate there's so many more, a lot, and I'm going to be reading them throughout the day all the way into tomorrow. Like I said, I'm filming this on Friday, so I'll most likely drop this on SummerSlam Day because you might as well. And maybe this SummerSlam, we may get some classic matches that next year in the years to come, we can sit up here and say, and at SummerSlam 2024, this was one of the best matches, you know, for SummerSlam in its entire history. We possibly be, may be able to say that relatively soon. So we'll see. I do think they have a, a, the potentials to make some great memories for us tomorrow at SummerSlam. And it's cool to be able to see some of y'all favorite matches or some of my favorite matches from this legendary event. So I asked Twitter. I'm going to ask y'all. Comment down below. Let me know what's y'all favorite favorite SummerSlam match of all time we're in the summer sam vibes we're trying to get hyped up to see what's gonna happen on saturday or if you're watching this you know today later on today um it's, it's just gonna be one of those things where i want y'all to be able to tell me what's y'all favorite SummerSlam match of all time i'm pretty sure a lot of them came from this video but there may be some that i may not even know of or some that other may um other may not be uh, others that may not be uh have heard about it or you know even remember it and you can maybe jog their memory too so let's have that discussion down below in the comment section below but i appreciate all the love and support y'all have shown on the channel Road to 150k. Appreciate y'all kicking it with me. See y'all on the next one. Peace.